Tampa's points percentage is higher than Boston's. Mm -hmm. But I'm assuming it's because Tampa's lost more games in overtime. Boston has more wins than Tampa. They are tied at. They are no. point behind. Oh, yeah, that's what it Tampa is. has more points. I read that Boston. wrong. I thought yeah. that they, they were one point ahead of Boston and they've lost more. That's how fucked the NHL is. Yeah, because the uh, for the standings, those uh, OT OT wins or OT losses they got there. They got eight in regulation. Yeah. Ninety six, ninety five. So objectively, Tampa has a has a worse record than Boston, and they're ahead of them. That's actually kind of funny. yeah. If you count OT loss, OT they're, shootout losses, losses or lo losses, overtime losses or yeah. losses. Well. Then they're 44 and 28, you know? Should the NHL go by points or points percentage? Have you heard of TrueNorth.bet? Sure have. Okay, well you have because you're listening right now. Built to be the credible, dependable, safe gaming experience that Canadians are looking for, TrueNorth.bet focuses on exclusively on Canada and Canadian players. TrueNorth.bet also takes pride in having the best customer service on the market. They're professional, efficient, and built for you. You should do this. Visit TrueNorth.bet slash STPN. Check it out. I think I think what you do is you get rid of the pity point and you go by wins and losses. I'd love for them just to be a wins loss sport. <laughs> well, there's that, but like purely from a a um no okay. just a display. No, 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 no. Do you know how fucking confusing that'll be to explain to non hockey fans what points percentage yeah, is? Right, you're yeah. 100%, Come on, you're a hundred percent. Games right. back is is hard enough. Yeah, Games right. back is hard enough. If you're listening to this right now and you're like, what? I get it. Yeah, you do. You're listening to a hockey podcast. Yeah, you do. Yeah. All right. Try explaining that to your to your mom, who like my mom, who who's math illiterate mm -hmm. and, and just barely understands the icing. My dad would not understand that. The argument I against him, but. wins and losses in the NHL, which I totally get and probably is probably the right idea, is that once you reach OT, it's so not like regular hockey. It's not five on five. It's three on three. And especially the shootout. Mm. That's not even the not sport. Not even close. That's a little yeah. gimmick at the end. How are you awarding a full win for something that's a gimmick, you know? So I get the points thing. It's like 90% of a win. Yeah. Which you know? is, yeah. So I don't, I don't, in the end, like, I don't mind the one point for the OT loss. I hate it. I think it's stupid. Win is a win is a the win. The 3 one system seems to be the best, but it doesn't change the standings that much. It, no, it makes and so that much makes sense. things more complicated, yeah. though. This is the thing. Okay. The reason it should be wins and loss, even if it's a gimmick, is the game has to end at some point, mm -hmm. right? And hockey... No. Uh, the game does have to end. So you have to go to the, the gimmick thing, and that's fine, because hockey's not popular enough like baseball or basketball to just go forever. You know what I mean? Like, basketball games can go forever. And hockey, knowing hockey, it's like, well, we're going to play trap in the overtime if we don't put a time limit on this. That's what they would do. So I think I'll take, I'll take the 90% win with the thing, at, but I still think if you made it to overtime and you lost, you still lost. Right. You have to end the hockey game. I get that. For broadcast schedules, you got to do that. Mm -hmm. But you don't need to award the point. There's nothing that forces... You have to go to gimmick. I don't want the gimmick either. I hate the shootout too. But I don't want... Why are we awarding a team that objectively lost the game? Right. There's no real argument for that. Other than, well, they lost in the shootout. Who fucking cares? They lost. You have to go with what is your sister sport. Right? So... Hmm. What is their sister sport? Baseball is not the sister sport of hockey. No. And baseball can do whatever it wants because there's it's... nothing else really like baseball. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, basketball is not the sister sport of hockey because the scores are like 100 to 120 like or something like that. Yeah. Um, the sister sport of hockey in terms of scoring is soccer. Yeah. Soccer does not have continuous overtime. Soccer has ties. Mm -hmm. And hockey used to have <sighs> ties. And so, but hockey decided, okay, we're not going to be like our sister sport. We're going to be baseball now. Or we're no, we're going to be basketball because now. because uh, hockey Except people they have wins and losses. See, if no. you want to if you want to get rid of that, by the way, ties should count for. If you brought ties back, ties should count for no points. I should. Oh, <laughs> oh, neither team gets anything. That's Two right. Losses? Because because here's what happened in NHL overtimes of the past. First off, it was five on five. It sucked. Second, it was five minutes long. Third, um, they'd be like, well, we, at least we got a point. So in a regular season game, you'd have teams like you'd have Robbie Fatorik's New New Jersey Devils playing trap in the in the overtime because at least they got a point. Wow, well, we got it. We grinded a point out of it. We could feel good about a tie, which you cannot feel good about. No, you can't stop feeling good about teams ties. Do that though. What you need to do, what you need to do is if no, you want to, you want competition to go up in overtime and make it exciting. Unless you win, you get nothing. <laughs> I, you know what the. 
the boring overtimes are few and far between for me. For me, it's, it's, it's not it's, broke. It's, don't it's fix it. It's four on four. No, four on four sucks. Three on three. Sorry, three on three. three, on three. It's yeah. three on three. Are you counting the goalie? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's three on three. So that's what I'm saying, though. It's, it rarely sucks, but what I'm saying is if you wanted to bring back the tie and match, actually make it like it's sister sport, yeah. drop the point for the tie. Uh, I don't want to bring back the tie. I, oh. I kind of think it's fine. I kind of think it's fine. The only thing I would tweak is 10 minutes of OT, take out the shootout. But what if it ends in a yeah, tie? What are you, Which it keep, would, Then Steve. you keep going. When you make the tie, no, no you can't no, you do can, that. That can't be a rule. That can't, you cannot you do that. You know that. Yeah. You know that for broadcast schedules, they cannot do that. Well, okay. I've been to a 21 round shootout mm -hmm. in person, and I know it didn't save time. Oh, if that's, they, that's rare, okay. though, Steve. Oh. So yeah. I went to the one outlier. <laughs> yeah. I, not, I think it would be rare. If you extend the time period that they're allowed to play, I guarantee you coaches will clog it yeah. up and slow it down. Then it, 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 then it just becomes like a Has more a of a short, mini game. Short Guys, amount of time. I already solved this no problem. Points. I already solved what? this it problem. Give it problem? to me. Give it to me. In three-on-three -three overtime, mm -hmm. coaches are banned. <laughs> no, you'd never have that. Coaches are banned. You'd, you'd never have no, that. I don't think so. We're get, get, we're getting I, I tell far. you what, overtime cannot begin until the coach is out of the building. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the other coaches? What do you mean? There's assistant coaches. There's like four guys on the bench. I didn't stutter, Jesse. All of them. All of them? Okay. What All about the gone. equipment guys? Yeah? You're going to ban them too? Also gone. Yeah, if, if your you, stick if you, breaks, fuck you. Yeah, you're done? Yep, you're done. I was going to say, the NHL's overtime rules to me mirror a little bit of the nfl's in that when the nfl uh, in the regular season when you're done um you it's you play till somebody scores if you score a touchdown the game's over if you score a field goal the game keeps going and then if you and then after that it's uh next person wins and then if nobody scores at the end of uh, ot it's a tie and it's that seems so far from uh like a football game in that you play out the time and there's there's possession that goes on. Sometimes you're punting it away for strategies. And in that when like one score can finish a football game, like we saw it with the Chiefs and the Bills in the playoffs where um, the Bills didn't get to touch the ball yeah. uh, to, to win one of the best football games of all time. They never got to possess the ball in overtime. That reminds me more of, more of uh, the NHL's rules where it's kind of it's so far from the actual 60 minutes that happens beforehand, you know? In that, hey, here's some unique rules that don't exist in the regular form of the play, the gameplay where we're deciding the wins and losses, but we get to this tie scenario where it's out of the realm. That's kind of what's happening with the NHL, where it's, hey, we're taking you out of this regular gameplay scenario, putting you into this other world where we have these new rules and go, go solve it there. Here's why that's a concerning comparison. Football has by far the worst overtime in sports. <laughs> yeah easily yeah that's so the yeah. nhl does not want to be that <laughs> right but that's where they're kind of at right now where we're mm -hmm. in a situation where it's hey we're taking away from what we just did for the entire regular for three periods and okay. here's a new thing the nfl it's it's the same we're hey you play this whole game and now you're doing this thing where hey one guy scores that's it what i feel like football could solve so many of its uh issues with like with whining about overtime by just making it so that you can't win the game on a field goal. And uh, this this coming season, they, they have changed those rules. Have, really? Wait, yeah, you can't yeah. win the game on a field goal? So uh, going they, into next year... They can do it from like 60 yards now. Like, yeah. why, is, why are you <laughs> so allowed to yeah, do you, that? Yeah, you can't win it on a field goal. You can... If, uh, on the first possession, you can't win it on a field goal. Uh, oh. Like that, that's been like that way for a couple years Oh, I didn't now. know okay. that. Yeah, you can win it on a touchdown, but if you yes. score a field goal, then the next team gets the ball back and they get the ball and you can go. Doesn't that make sense? But yeah, this year they're changing the OT rules coming into this season. So it'll be like, both teams get to possess the ball and that sort of stuff. I mean, that just that to me season. makes perfect sense. But yeah, yep. it, it, okay. yep. like the way you're like, oh, they have the worst rules. Like I look, I look at the NHL in the same way. I'm like, it's so not hockey when we're having a shootout to decide the winner. It's you put, put aside how exciting three on three is because it's great. Mm -hmm. It's a great product. It's also, it's a gimmick. Yeah. Like when, when math, it's a better gimmick though. It's a way it better is, gimmick. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's entertaining. But like. The all-star game is three on three because the all-star game doesn't matter, <laughs> right. which means pss, OT doesn't matter. Yeah. When Matthews no, that's, walks. That is not a fair compare. That, there's no Why? link at all. Why? No, yeah, no Steve. Why? I was going to let it. I was going to let all -star, it fly. Yeah. Come on. There's like this a false equivalency. Steve. Why? Why? Come on. This, oh, that's great a false argument. equivalency. And you great know that. argument. Because they're, they're not the same. The all-star game as a premise doesn't matter. 
Yes. The right. game is for points. So instantly, that's a false equivalency. <laughs> It's, they're both three on three. That doesn't mean. <laughs> and they're the both premise, not Steve. real hockey. Steve. Yes, it is real hockey. What, uh, oh. People play three on three all the time. Pond hockey. What, 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 do we, what do we all come from? When is it the National Pond Hockey League? What are you talking I don't about? Know. I don't know what you guys are trying to argue. Well, what I'm trying to argue is that Steve is making a false equivalency argument for the All-Star game versus overtime. One is worth nothing unless you want to buy, unless you want to lease on a new Chevrolet. At the end of it, because you won the MVP, anything, that or or you're talking about three on three overtime, which actual has actual points at stake, right. and it has playoff implications. Right. They, they all, are not the same. Playoff implications. Anything that does not exist in the playoffs is not real hockey. Again, I, I'm not really but sure. But that doesn't. That's not. I don't think that's what you were trying to say about the All Star game. Yeah, now, now we're changing that's the argument. Else. <laughs> no, like what? What I'm. Well, I suppose I'm changing the argument. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> the, and and here we have Twitter. Ah, <laughs> yeah, no, like ah, three on three on three overtime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is not real hockey. It isn't. It isn't. If it was, it'd be yeah, in the playoffs. I I don't. It's not like um. I don't consider it the same as what you're playing like before overtime. Yeah, I think five right. on five on five hockey is is the hockey we know mm -hmm. as the sport as the game that where you decide who wins and loses, and then when there's a tie at the end. Could of the we just game, say it's a different type of hockey? Yeah, no. and it's a hockey that's there to end the game because we need to end the game for broadcast. This games. isn't rugby and rugby sevens. This is that they are the playoff games broadcasted. Yes. Well, then what are we doing? I don't. Know I don't know what you're mean. Which, no, we got to we got to <laughs> get it off the air. Which Capitals because that's a no, game it's... two. Capitan scores a double overtime winner. We all go so home now, happy. Okay, so no, now no, 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 that goal should never happen. They should just cut the game off. Now you want a different conversation where we're talking about broadcast rights and getting the news on at 10 p.m. Like that's we're talking. That's about a whole that's what it thing. is. So and during the playoffs, there's just no news. No, but th during this small period of time in the window on the calendar and the TV schedule, they make exceptions for uh, that's a, right. a small in the small amount small of window games. of two that's months. Just, no, but you're just talking about how TV works. So we're explaining to you like the basics of television scheduling, <laughs> Steve. Like was, you can't argue that. <laughs> I love when you guys explain broadcasting. <laughs> yeah, because it's not, why did I didn't think we'd be here where we need to do an explainer I to think, Steve Dangle on how television works. I think it is, Steve. I think what it is, it comes down to is they are. The, it is hockey. It's just it is a gimmick to end the game. Yeah. It is just like listen. Sudden death is a gimmick to end the game. That's what I was trying to say. 